Hedda Hopper speaking. I'm talking from the bedroom of Norma Desmond. Don't bother with a rewrite, man. Take this direct. Ready? As day breaks over the murder house. Yes, you'll read the big black headlines about Norma Desmond and this Hollywood scandal. But you'll never read the true story about the rest of us who were part of it. Me, for instance. Joe Gillis, a promising young writer from Dayton, Ohio. And Betty, that nice kid I met at a Hollywood party who knew nothing about me, but knew what she wanted. Don't you love Artie? Of course I love him. I always will. I'm just not in love with him anymore. What happened? You did? Well, we should have lived happily ever after, like they do in the movies. But this was different, because this is a Hollywood story about the people who make the movies. The little ones that you never hear of, like Betty and me. The great ones, like Cecil B. DeMille. All those who knew Norma Desmond, a strange woman who left her mark on all of us, who crossed her path. Has it ever occurred to you that I may have a life of my own, that there, there may be some girl that I'm crazy about? Who? Some car hop or dress extra? What I'm trying to say is that I'm all wrong for you. You want a Valentino, somebody with polo ponies, a big shot. What you're trying to say is you don't want me to love you. Say it. Say it. Gloria Swanson, one of the great personalities of this generation in a role that comes to an actress once in a lifetime. Rising to the heights, William Holden creates a startling portrayal. And a new star is born in Sunset Boulevard, Miss Nancy Olson. Joe? Where are you? What's this all about? Why don't you come out and see for yourself? The address is 10,086 Sunset Boulevard. Yes, come out to see for yourself the film that reaches a new milestone of dramatic daring. The film that every critic says is a giant among motion pictures. <laughs>